Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. I have seen someone demonstrate turning a Roman canteen, and it has been on my list for quite a while. But as I study the Roman canteen, I don't have much use for a canteen, of that, uh, for a wooden canteen. I actually like the modern ones that actually hold water and securely and, and, and do a great job. But still, the form is a valid turning form. And it's for the model for this little vase here is the Roman canteen. However, I don't think you need to go to all the same amount of work that a Roman canteen is because you can use a bottom and you can use a spout that actually turns it into a nice vase. Now, I also, instead of a plain center on each side, I use the infinite axis chuck to make a totally unique figure center medallion for both sides. By the way, the hat, I got this last weekend from the Southern Utah Wood Turners. I spent the weekend demonstrating the infinite axis chuck with them. Great group. Thank you so much for taking great care of me. And they gave me this hat, nice hat. They wanted me to wear it while I'm turning, but sorry guys, I can't wear the hat while I'm turning because I wear my face shield. So let's make this nice vase. I found a block of walnut about six inches by six inches by two inches. Placed masking tape so that I can see my markings and marked center. Then I trimmed off the corners a little before applying double stick tape and mounting it to a wood faceplate with live center pressure. Now I'm rounding it off but only to square the circumference to the faces for now. Now I am applying masking tape to the edge so that I can easily mark the exact center of the wood. This is where I will need to drill a hole for the neck. But before I do anything too rash, I'm marking for an expansion mortise on the face. This will be for my small shark jaws. Then I've applied new tape and marked the exact middle of the wood through the center mark. Then continued this mark across the line on the circumference. I've lined up a small drill bit true to the line I drew on the face of the wood. I want my one inch hole to be exactly perpendicular to the tangent at this point. This hole will be for the neck of my vase. Now I've mounted the wood to my small shark jaws using the mortise I drilled earlier. My first task now is to mark and cut another expansion mount on the surface. I want to be able to flip the wood to either surface. Now I can round over the corner of the blank first with my gouge, then using the shear scrape with the gouge. I'm flipping it over to the other side for the same thing, rounding over the corner. Technically, maybe I did not need the second mortise, but it does make it easier to clean up the side without worrying about hitting the chuck jaws. I'm doing my best to make the curve symmetrical. I'll get it close. I see a crack in the wood and stop to apply some CA glue, then let it dry. I'm taking a moment now to drill out the center, leaving a lip in the mortise. I'm drilling halfway from each side. I used my hollowing setup to hollow the vase from both sides. Unfortunately, my camera operator neglected to start the camera. Oh well, not much to see when I'm hollowing. Should I fire him? For the medallions, I'm first applying double stick tape to one side of the hazelnut and mounting it to a work platform. I like hazelnut because if you burn it a little, it has a nice roasted smell. I'm smoothing and sanding what will be the back side of the medallion. The only thing that takes a little time is fitting the tenon to the hole in the side of the vase. Once it fits, I'm mounting another work platform to my chuck and again applying double stick tape. Then to transfer the medallion as concentric as possible, I'm pressing the work first work platform while aligning it with the live center pressing into the mounting nut of the work platform. It gets me close, but not perfectly. 
After this, I can level the surface of the medallion and sand it for the background. This is easy now, but would be difficult later after I cut the features. Now I can cut in the first feature. In these medallions, I'm trying several different tools to see what works and what works best. My baseline is a small gouge, then also trying a mini round nose scraper, a spear point scraper, a mini skew, a small skew, and a box scraper. Now for the second feature. All tools seem to work fine. Generally they work best with the speed as high as is safe and very light touches. Now the third feature. Each time I make sure I have cinched up the retaining ring on the chuck. I make sure with my large channel lock pliers. Now a fourth feature. When the feature cuts completely into the surface, I can sand with the lathe running at moderate speed. Since the features are small, I can sand with 180, 220, and 320 grit. When the feature does not cut completely into the surface, I have to sand with the lathe off. How about a fifth feature? When I mess up by not focusing enough on tool control, I enlarge and redesign the feature. After all, no one yet knows what it is supposed to look like. When all features are finished, I'm returning the work platform to my chuck for final sanding and finishing with brushing lacquer. Repeat again for another medallion for the other side. Now for the neck of the vase. Again, I'm using hazelnut from last year's pruning. It's dry now. Since I have to fit it to the top hole in the vase body and I want to test fit it before finishing it on the lathe, I have to adjust my plan. I first rounded the wood, cut a tenon and mounting it into my chuck. Now I want to shape the tenon which will also be the neck. Once the tenon fits, I'm tapering the neck out. Once it fits, I'm reducing a portion of the wood to a smaller tenon that I will cut out later. Then part off what I need. Now it's mounted to the long nose jaws for drilling down to just above the chuck jaws. Final shaping and sanding. For a base, I'm using a bit of bark edge from the hazelnut branch with the top and bottom and cut end sanded. All in all, this is a nice project. It has the unusual look of a flattened vase, nice walnut looks with a hazelnut accent, and I like it better than a Roman canteen. Plus a bonus when I scorch hazelnut and can smell the roast. That's all for this vase. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Please wear your full face shield. If I did not need protection, I would wear the hat. I'm Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Every week I make a new wood turning video. So come on back next week.